Mark! Wait, Mark! Mark! Yes? Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive. And all the Isles with us! Don't exaggerate. It's just... No, Geralt. This is no just. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious sea swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Theft or no theft, Kroch gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle, but we, the druids, watch that no alien magic takes hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Krach turned to us for help, and trusted this site to our care. Third! What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. I saw the Foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? You do it whenever you want anyway. No harm in it then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first spot. Yes? 
This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep Don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. Show me what you got. Well, ready? Use the mask. Watch out! Yes. What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. This is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking. So we can take all of us. Don the mask. Chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Held the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! We'll see what Krach has to say about this! Sure as hell shouldn't be angry. He agreed to help us. When he learns what's happened here... Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless! It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you...? I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword mix. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. 
Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Durin, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders sent the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together, right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on Hemisphere, but if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. <laughs> 